Namaste. Welcome to Santi Das Yoga. Today I would like to share my own practice with you um, that uh, I do <laughs> every day with my cat. <laughs> uh, practice it in the morning, sometimes in the garden, sometimes um, inside before going to work. And this practice will allow you or me to uh, have a flexible body, strength and maybe a bit of calmness of the mind. I learned this practice um, or it is inspired by a practice that I, I learned in India at the Shivananda Ashram and uh, I have adapted it to my specific needs. So you only need to have a mat for this practice, nothing else is needed. Um, I will also give instructions for adapted postures for all levels. Um, and just go with the body, like what your body can do. This is functional yoga, it's not some sort of aesthetic form of yoga. So feel and do what's right and what's safe for your body. So you begin by lying down on your back, opening your body for a new practice, feeling your breath coming in and out of the body, letting your toes fall over and out. Your hands are opening up to the sky, shoulders become heavy. Feel the full surface of your body. Open your mouth slightly. Let all those sticky thoughts just drop and flow away. And with your breath, Come slowly to yourself. So prepare yourself for that practice. Listening to your own stillness. Whilst maybe noticing also what's going on outside. And very slowly you turn towards your left side, you bend your legs, turn to your left side, push yourself with your hand up and come to Padmasan, the seated pose. Your left heel is at the left side of the perineum. If you can, put your hands on your knees, maybe your fingers in Chin Mudra, the thumb and the index finger are touching each other. And we're starting with a round of Kabbalabhati, which is a, um, a heating that increases, uh, a breathing that increases the heating in your, in your body, allows your prana to flow. Um, and I be doing three times 60 pumping and retain our breath and I will give you the instructions about how to do it just follow a little bit what I do and listen and you inhale deeply and exhale completely inhale deeply Exhale completely. Inhale half. And exhale, 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 
Excel, 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 And exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale completely. Inhale half. And just retain your breath. Close your eyes. Feel the stillness. And let go. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale completely. Inhale half. And we go for the second round. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Excel, 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 completely. And inhale fully. Exhale completely. Inhale fully. Exhale. And inhale half. And retain. Close your perineum. Put your chin to your chest. Maybe close your eyes. And hold. Feel the stillness. If you cannot hold it, just exhale, otherwise retain. And exhale. Last round. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale completely. Inhale half. Excel, 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 inhale, and exhale completely, inhale fully, and exhale completely, and inhale half. For the last moment of breath retention, hold your perineum as a lock and lock your chin to the chest and hold. See whether you can get and pump that energy upwards, even pulsing with your perineum up, 
up, up. Make the energy rise all the way up to your sternum. And exhale when and if you're ready. And stay still for a while until we all meet here. So now we have completed the series of pranayama to get uh, energy through the breath in the body. We just welcome ourselves with um, three ohms now in this practice before we go into the asana practice. Inhale, exhale, put your hands in front of your heart. You might want to set an intention for today's practice, might dedicate it to something quite specific in your life. Bow down your head, inhale. Om. Inhale. Om. Inhale. With that beautiful vibration you are ready to practice yoga asana now so going to come up and do six rounds of sun salutation even though the sun has left this garden a little bit i'm trying to get it back stand up straight tadasan pose so stand in tadasan pose feel the soles of your feet you can if you stand in the garden you can even do this without a mat stand strong see whether you can put your shoulders back your hips forward forward your kneecaps up chin up point your hands forward strong mountain pose inhale exhale prayer position inhale go up stretch up arch slightly backwards exhale come all the way down hands next to your feet inhale look up exhale look down inhale right leg back put your knee down look up retain plank pose exhale knees chest chin look forward inhale all the way up to cobra exhale come back exhale into downward dog inhale right leg comes forward look up exhale left foot come forward look down inhale straightly come back and exhale come forward i do it one more time very slowly inhale exhale hands in front of your chest inhale look up arch back exhale come and pray down hands next to your feet inhale straight back look forward left leg comes back look up come with the other foot plank pose strong body exhale knees chest chin look forward inhale come up into cobra exhale come back into downward dog inhale left foot comes forward look up exhale come forward look down inhale straight back all the way back arch back exhale doing a variation now inhale exhale prayer position inhale come up arch back exhale come down inhale straight back look forward exhale right leg knee down put your hands into prayer inhale look all the way up anjaniya asana stretch come down with your hands next to your feet go back into plank pose 
Again, knees, chest, chin, look forward. Inhale, hips down, feet together, look up. Exhale, come back, stretch back. Come down into downward dog. Stay here for a moment. Inhale. 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 And inhale, left leg comes back and forward, knee down, hands up, Anjaniya Asana, come up, put your hands next to your foot, step back forward, head down, inhale all the way back, arch back and exhale. So you should be sufficiently warm, you can have many of these sun salutations. I do about six, so we can do one more with a variation of the warrior one. So you go and stand in Tadasana again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, come all the way down. And now you inhale, step back with the left foot. Have your knee above your heel, come all the way up into warrior number one, look up or look forward, strong heart, see how deep you can go, what feels good today, breathe through the nose preferably, Exhale, come down, hands in the front, step back into downward dog, go to plank pose, and again, knees, chest, chin, look forward, inhale, come up, exhale, and step back into downward dog. And now we're going to the other foot, come forward with the left between your hands, Slightly turn your back heel outwards and we're going to move back into warrior number one. Heart is open, arms are straight up. Look forward, see how deep you can and want to go. Put your hands down again, step forward, head down. Inhale straight back, all the way back. Arch back and exhale. That completes the part of the sun salutation. I'm going to move slightly, if the camera can still catch me, to feel the earth now. We're doing a few balance postures. Stand straight, feel the earth, connect to what's going on inside. And just notice what's going out outside. But what's really important is your own inner stability. And I'm going to lift up my right leg, put my hands around the knee, flex my foot, and I inhale, stretch forward and come back. Inhale, stretch forward, come back. Inhale, stretch forward and back. Inhale, stretch forward, come back. And the last time you inhale, stretch forward, put your hands up. You can flex your foot or stretch. Smile, hold it. Feel your strength. Flex back. And see whether you can hold from the inside of your knee, your big toe. Stand up straight, put your hand on your hip. Let the knee sink if you want. Stretch your right leg forward. If you can't do that, just keep it bent. This feels stable somehow from the inside. Stretch up your left arm. Smile. Slowly come back, 
your right foot come down and shake out your feet. Feel the right surface of your foot. Doing the same thing on the other leg. Put your hands underneath your knee. Stand up straight and proud and tall. Inhale and one. Inhale, two, inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, and put both of your hands up, wait, and slowly come back. From the inside, hold your big toe, let it sink, maybe hold on you, onto your right hip. And when and if you can, stretch forward, straight leg forward. Maybe you can put your right arm up, maybe not. You can have it and hold it onto your hip. Smile, find some sort of stability and slowly come back and be happy whatever you have done right now just to find a little bit of stability that concludes the standing postures we're going to go all the way down slowly on the mat and lie down again rest for a moment feel what is flowing what am i experiencing coming from action to inaction and being able to rest immediately checking my heartbeat slowing down my breath and slowly I'm coming up with both of my legs we're working up the core now for the core you can put your hands underneath your buttocks if you have issues with your lower back you can also put your hands above your head if you have a strong core already or maybe underneath your head if you want so, sort of a medium solution keep your legs straight up feet flexed Maybe you want to turn around a little bit with your feet. And we're going to do 10 leg raises. Now, if you have a problem with your lower back or you don't have, you have an issue with, or you don't have a strong core, you can bend your knees. Otherwise you keep them straight. And we start, inhale, exhale, all the way down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, five, five more, six, seven, smile, nine, and the last one, tenth, we go very slowly. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. And you let go. <sighs> and exhale. Feel that prana already pulsating in the body. Showing that inner smile, hopefully, that you're giving yourself. And slowly you come back. Going to work out now some inversions. And we're starting with a very nice pose, which is called the dolphin pose. I'm turning my mat the other way around. 
so you can see it well. So what we're going to do is that we're putting our hands um, on the mat like a triangle. It's the thumb and the index are touching each other, you're putting the elbows where your shoulders are if you can't and you have your hands nicely flat on your mat. You are kneeling, the knees are above your hips, you're tucking your toes under, under and now you're pushing your knees up very slowly, 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 looking at the middle between your thumb and your fingers and maybe you can go all the way down with your heels, look forward, feel the stretch in your shoulders, pushing your elbows down and maybe you can go forward with an exhale, hold your core, exhale two, maybe you can put your feet a little bit further out, exhale three, exhale four, go beyond, exhale five with your nose down, exhale six with your nose down and you can stop here, you can go maybe a few more until we all rest on our knees putting our feet down flat again and go into child pose with our arms stretched forward head down and we inhale and exhale mentally preparing ourselves for the posture of Shirshasana headstand, which you can or cannot do, but it doesn't matter, we're just keeping our head down. I'll still show you how to do it. So headstand is sometimes a scary posture for some students, especially if you don't have a wall around like in a garden, but in a garden it doesn't hurt, you can fall wherever and sometimes that's just the lesson of the headstand that you can just fall and get up again, just like in life. So the way of how headstand works is you're putting your, it's the position of your elbows which is really important because your elbows are really holding you up. So you're putting your right hand on your elbow and your left hand on the other elbow crossing over putting them on the mat and then interlacing your hands like uh, as if you're like giving yourself a handshake and just put that onto the floor your elbows are just the same distance than your shoulders I'm on my knees and I'm putting my head down, the crown of the head on the mat and my hands are really holding my head as if my head is an egg <laughs> and my hands are an egg holder. Very stable here. My toes are tucked under and I'm pushing up my knees now. And I feel the full surface of my elbows and my underarms. And very slowly I'm wandering forward until my back is vertical. If I find that my back is vertical, maybe I can lift up one leg. Maybe I can lift up the other. Maybe not, then you stay down. Maybe you wanna lift up your knees a little bit further. Maybe you will come up like a table. And then maybe I can stretch up my legs all the way up. And if you don't come that far, you'll just try again or just keep your feet down. Just taking 10 breaths here. You inhale in whatever posture you are in right now. Just enjoy to watch the world upside down. Sometimes that gives you a new perspective. Maybe you flex your feet if you're up or not, to stay, be stable, feel your core. 
Be still. Push your elbows down. And then we come down. Bend your knees again. Go slowly down. To land on the mat. Come out of the posture. Go onto your knees. And wherever you have been now in this posture, we all stretch out in child pose again. Feel what's happening in this posture to you. Notice whether there's any change in your mind or body. And slowly come up. yourself a smile and we go and lie on our back now and we do the same thing the queen of asanas sarvangasana which is the shoulder stand so if you are on a soft ground like here like in a grass it's one thing so you don't need anything to support you otherwise maybe you can roll your mat over and put a blanket here to protect your neck Otherwise, you don't have to go up very straight. You can go down onto your shoulders and we practice shoulder stand. Just wait here for a moment, lie down. Feel the full surface of your shoulders. You can wiggle yourself in a little bit. Breathe in and breathe out. You can close your eyes. And we're starting very slowly. You're putting your knees up first. And then maybe put your hands flat on the floor and then see whether you can put your feet above your head. Maybe putting your hands flat on your back, elbows a little bit together. And see whether you can go into straight shoulder stand. Compressing and putting your chin on your chest. Pointing either with your feet up or flexed. And breathe to your nose. Then we stay there for five to six breaths. Holding onto your back, feeling your shoulders nicely on the mat, on the grass. It's called shoulder stand. Maybe you can close your eyes. Just enjoy how your heart is working. Energy flowing up and down at the same time. And bending your knees. Maybe putting your knees on your forehead. And maybe if you can, stretching out both of your legs behind your head. That doesn't work out, just leave it on your knees, putting your hands onto your floor, interlacing them, rolling your shoulders nicely under, pressing your chin to your chest. Halasana, the plow pose, stirring up the earth for new life, for new prana. Take a few breaths here. And then slowly, very slowly roll back onto the mat, straight legs, feet down and relax again. Feel the energy releasing. If you're going into a posture that is a counter pose for this particular one. You're so putting your, both of your arms underneath your buttocks. Maybe your hands are on your upper legs, the back upper legs. Shoulders are down. Now you're going to arch your front and let your he head fall. Your feet are still on the ground just to open your throat. 
and see whether your forehead can touch the ground. If not, that's okay too. You just want to open your throat. Enjoy that opening. And then come back again. And release. Feel all sorts of flows of energy pulsating through the body and see what's happening. And then slowly come up and we turn around onto the belly now into some backbending practice. Lying down, putting your hands, your head onto your hands. Feel the full surface of your front body for a moment. We will practice three back bends. Cobra, Shalabhasana and the wheel. And see whether how long we can stay in each Feel free to let go at any time. So for the first one, we're putting just our elbows under our shoulder. You're putting your hands flat onto the floor and see whether you can just put your feet together and feel like a cobra here with your full pelvis is on the floor, you're arching up opening your throat and maybe you can even make the sound of a snake here. Feel like that snake. And one more time. And come all the way down again. Turn your head to the left side. Inhale, exhale. So now we're going to transition from this beautiful posture, which is called Shalabhasana, which we practice in its very simple pose, by just uh, starting to lie down and putting your hands next to your body. The head is down on the mat, feet are together. And with the next inhale, you raise your body up and your shoulders all the way up. And then at the same time, you're putting your feet up, your hands are still down. And at the next stage, you're going to put your hands up, maybe interlacing them, look forward, inhale, 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 strong body, just look forward and hold on a little bit more and then exhale all the way down, make your hands a pillow and breathe, inhale, exhale. Next posture is wheel pose, a wheel, a wheel pose. So you hold your, your left hand, your left foot, and with your right hand, your right foot from the back. Maybe your toes can point towards each other. And just stay there for a moment, just lying down on the floor. Inhale, exhale. So now I'm going to push my feet into my hands. I'm going to raise myself up into this wheel pole, opening my chest. See how far I want to go in this pose. Do I want to push higher with my feet? Can I do that? Can I push my 
feet away and open my chest by pulling at my arms. Do I want to put my throat up and look up? Just feel where your body wants to go today. And then slowly come all the way down and rest. Slowly stretch back, hands forward. And we're going to go for a few more poses before going into final relaxation. Put your feet forward, go sitting, feel full surface of your buttocks. Both sit bones sitting up straight. Toes, toes are, feet are flat. Arms go up, look up at your thumbs. Just enjoy that posture for a moment. Maybe you can interlace your hands and push yourself up as well. And then we see whether we can go forward with a straight back, looking straight forward. See whether you can not round your back. See how far you want and can go. Maybe your hands end up at your knees, maybe a little bit further. Maybe you can hold onto your feet with your thumbs on the toes. Just look forward, just make sure that you feel that you can settle in this pose with the, the intention of stretching your back and the back of your legs. And the last minute, with the last breath, you just see whether you how far you can go with the crown of your head towards your feet. And then you inhale and exhale. See whether you can wiggle yourself in a little bit further. Inhale and exhale a little bit further. Your elbows can go bent and inhale and exhale a little bit further. And maybe you can let go of your arms and just let them rest. And now let your head just fall down. Maybe your back will go round. Pashimottasana. It's a posture of submission to your own self. Stay there for a few moments. And then keep up. Come back with a straight back all the way up. Putting your hands behind your back. Hands pointing outwards. Putting your feet on the ground. Feel the full surface of your feet. Just go up for a moment. Lift your hips up, come down. It's a nice shoulder opener as well. Inhale, up. Maybe putting your feet a little bit closer. Inhale, up, and come back. Going to go into a twist. So you bend your left knee and you're putting your right foot next to your left knee. Feel whether you can feel both of your buttocks again. You lift up your right arm, you look up, straighten, putting it behind your back. Inhale, taking your left arm and see whether you can put it in front of your right knee. You can place your hand on the floor. You can keep it up as well, just like a almost as if you're saying stop to somebody. See whether you can look towards the back and you inhale, straighten the back, exhale, inhale, 
exhale let go inhale maybe putting your hand on your heart and exhale feel the nice twist and slowly come back small counter twist and we do the same thing with the other side so the right foot goes to the left knee you feel those buttocks sit up straight putting your left arm up straight up put your hands behind your buttocks right arm up putting your right upper arm onto your left knee maybe onto the floor maybe you can grab your foot or maybe you just say hello inhale straighten your back exhale twist inhale exhale twist inhale and exhale feel that beautiful generation of energy when you have a twist especially in your lower back maybe in your hips as well and then come back let go so in this traditional shivananda practice what you can do is now a crow pose if you want as sort of the last crowning of your posture so you can feel the full surface of your feet you're in a squatting pose see whether you can put your shoulders inside even put your hands into a namaste to open your hips a little bit further and you can just stay here for a moment just enjoy that opening of your hips now that you're nice and warm you can also place your hands onto the floor or in this beautiful grass and feel the full surface of your hands maybe come up to your toes maybe lift up your seat and just tilt a little bit forward and backwards and forward and backwards maybe you can tilt so much that you can rest your chins on your um, upper arms and put your feet together look forward and just hold for a moment or come back and forwards as you like and just enjoy that small moment of the fact that you were flying even for a very small moment which inspires always now we are beginning to the third part of this practice which is shavasana relaxation and for that you need to make an extra effort and let go so what you do is that you're shaking out your body one more time and then you're just going to lie down and wiggle yourself into this posture letting your feet fall towards the outside letting your arms just comfortably drop into the floor just let go close your eyes you don't need to look into the screen anymore feel your breath coming in and out of the body and the breath breathes you rather you breathing slow down just for a moment just uh, feel that you can truly just let go of everything letting go of any tension in your feet or in your toes letting go of any tension in your legs or knees letting go of any thing in your hips and relax
letting go of whatever I'm holding in the belly and uh, relax. Slowing down my heartbeat, softening my chest. Relax. Letting go of any tension in my shoulders or neck. Relax. Letting go of anything I'm holding on in my hands and relax. My elbows, relax. Shoulders, relax. Examining whether there's any tension in my face and then just letting it go. Mouth is slightly open. Eyelids are heavy. And my face is without any wrinkle. Even my ears and my hair are relaxed. And any of the thoughts that are coming are just passing by like the clouds are passing by. Entire body is relaxed. Listening to the birds, to the leaves, feeling warm, wherever I am. Coming still. Let go of your thoughts and feel of attachment. Coming conscious of your breath again. Maybe feeling the feet and wiggling your toes, your hands, bending your knees, feeling the full surface of your back, feeling the ground under your feet. Bending your arms and turning to the side in a fetus position, just waiting there for a moment, just keeping your eyes closed. And then slowly pushing yourself up with the left hand or the right hand to go back to a sitting position. left side, left foot on the left side of the perineum. <coughs> Starting 
ending the way we started with chin mudra chest open just remember your intention at the beginning of this practice and just come back to that for a moment putting your hands in front of your heart be grateful to yourself the time you gave yourself for some stillness and peace and we inhale deeply Om. Namaste. Thanks for sharing with me.